I've been asked a lot, should I start a blog in a crowded niche, right? Fitness, nutrition, food, there's a huge range of niches where there are thousands, tens of thousands, hundreds of thousands, maybe millions of creators out there making videos, podcasts, blog posts, social media accounts in these popular crowded niches. However, I think, here's my take, that as long as you are creating something that is authentic to you, who you are, and you're weaving in your life experiences, your story, your art, something that is real and meaningful to you into the creation process for your content, whether that's video, audio, written, or otherwise, then you will definitely stand a chance to make a dent in any niche. Competition doesn't really matter if you're doing something that's genuinely interesting, and if you're connecting that, your art, your sharing, how you create, back to providing value, educating, and entertaining other people, you literally can't go wrong. So my advice is to tap into what's real to you and follow that. You'll always go in the right direction for yourself. Another piece of advice I'd give you if you're starting a blog or beginning to create content in a crowded space is to focus on a sub niche. So instead of just saying, I want to blog about fitness, you know, there are a million and one different guides to fitness out there. Focus instead on say, how to lose weight while living in an apartment, working out from home. That would be, say, a sub-niche example that you could focus on and really do a good job of becoming an expert within your sub-niche. And once you build that ground layer, that fundamental base of authority and space, and you begin attracting an audience and connecting with real people and asking them questions and answering their real questions, that's when you begin to build a brand for yourself. And as you develop a brand, you can begin to move up and hey, all of a sudden one day, you're a fitness influencer.